hyperresupply.com sells the best modded accounts for GTA 5, Need for Speed, and Forza Horizon. Now, they do sell modded accounts for each platform you play on. And you can find the best cheap prices here. There's no other website that is out there that has the same prices as hyperresupply.com. And also, they have 5 star reviews on Trustpilot. Now, Trustpilot is a legit website that does background checks on the reviews. And if you go over to Trustpilot, hyperresupply.com is a verified company with 5 star reviews. Also, if you want to save even more money, use code REBEL for 10% off your next order. Hey everyone, and in this video, I will be showing you on how to make 4 modded outfits. And also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new, and check out all the video links in the video description. But let's not waste any more time, and let's get straight on to the video. Now, you will need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. Make sure you save your current outfit on slot number 20. Then delete the rest of your outfits. Now, don't worry. These outfits are worth the glitch. Now, once you delete the rest of your outfits, open up your pause menu. Go over to online. Go over to swap character and accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterwards. And you should be loading into a small room like this. Now, move over to the second slot character and push edit. Now, if it's a female character on the edit, just basically go over to save and continue and accept the alert. Now, on the male character on the second slot, just go over to edit, put it on the female on the sex, and push save and continue. And you should be loading into a random lobby like this afterwards. Now, just go over to the accessories and remove any sort of accessories on your female character now you will be needing to make your way over to the top section now at the top section you will need to go over to the leather jacket and purchase the blue JC jacket now continue to stay at the top section go over to the sport tops and buy the white mix baseball tee this one right here. Now make your way over to the pants section. Now you will need to go over to the sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants. The first one. Now make your way over to the shoe section. Go over to the high heel boots and buy the deluxe midnight combat. And now you will need to make your way over to the front counter. This part's very important. Make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number two and name it Galaxy One. Now you will need to make your way over to the accessories. Go over to the gloves and purchase the light woolen armor. Now go over to the top section. Go over to the leather bomber jackets and buy the multi-color SN leather open. Now open up your interaction menu. Go over to style. Go over to the jacket and make sure you close up the jacket through your interaction menu. Then make your way over to the front counter. Make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number 3 and name it Galaxy 2. Now head over to the top section, go over to the work jackets, and purchase the peach camo clothes field, this one. Continue to stay at the top section, go to the tuck t-shirts, and buy the blue digital t-shirt. Now make your way over to the front counter, make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number 4 and name it Galaxy 3. Now continue to stay at the front counter. You will need to go over to the scuba outfits and purchase the gray camo scuba. These right here. Now back out from the front counter. You will need to open up your interaction menu. 
go over to style now on the style you would need to equip the light woolen armor gloves on and basically save this as an outfit on number slot 5 right here and name it red 1 now go over to the leather bomber jackets and purchase the blue dotted leather clothes now head over to the pants section go over to the sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants these right here now head over to the shoe section once you're done and go over to the boots and on the boots you will need to purchase the moss tech boots then make your way over to the front counter and now once you're there you will need to save this as an outfit on slot number six and name it red two and now make your way over to the earrings now on the accessories go over to earrings and purchase the pearl deco earrings and then head over to the top section go over to the work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field continue to stay at the top section go over to the tuck t-shirts and purchase the blue digital t-shirt and now make your way over to the front counter and once you're there you will need to make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number seven and name it red three now go over to the accessories go over to the earrings and remove the earrings like this and now make your way over to the pants section go over to the utility pants and purchase the black battle pants now go over to the tops go over to the polo shirts and purchase the gray polo shirt now open up your interaction menu go over to style and make sure you have the light woodland armor gloves on and make your way over to the front counter now make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number eight and name it blue one then make your way over to the pants section go over to the sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants now head over to the top section once you're done go over to the work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field now stay at the top section still you will need to find the blue digital t-shirt on tuck t-shirts and buy it now make your way over to the shoe section go over to the motorcycle boots and buy the worn black slack boots these right here now go over to the front counter make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number nine and name it blue two and you will need to make your way over to the top section once again go over to the denim jackets and purchase the distress denim jacket now continue to stay at the top section go over to the busters and purchase the till lease buster number 13 out of 33 now go over to the shoe section once you're done go over to the high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat now go over to the front counter now you will need to make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number 10 now go over to the saved outfits and select every single saved outfit now select the last saved outfit on slot number 10 afterwards now back out from the front counter open up your interaction menu and choose the option to easy way out now you should be spawning afterwards you will need to open up your pause menu go over to online go over to creator and accept that alert that shows up on your screen
and you should be loading into a menu like this just go over to create a race then create a land race afterwards now open up your pause menu go over to online now go over to online and you will need to go over to choose character and accept that alert that shows up on your screen and you should be loading into a small room like this you will need to make sure you hover above the female character on slot number two and delete her and accept that alert now afterwards hover above the male character on slot number one and return to gta now you should be loading into the gta 5 story mode afterwards now once you do open up your pause menu go over to online and basically load into a invite only session so you can load in quicker now once you do load into the lobby you will need to make your way over to the nearest clothing store go over to the front counter and make sure you save your current outfit on slot number 20 now continue to stay at the front counter go over to the deadline outfits and purchase the purple deadline outfit now open up your pause menu, go over to online and start up the mission called It's a G Thing. There will be a link down below in the video description if you need to bookmark it. Now accept that alert. You should be loading into the actual job menu like this. Make sure you put the clothing on player, save the outfits, and invite at least one person to help you out and launch the mission. And you should be loading into a second job menu like this. On the owned outfits, click one to the right. Now ready up and tell the person that is helping you readies up as well. Now you will need to steal the nearest street vehicle off the street once you do spawn in and make your way over to your apartment building. Now make your way inside of your apartment building. Go over to the closet area. Make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number 19 and delete the first galaxy outfit and the second and the third. Now quit the job through the jobs list through your phone after you save this as an outfit on number 19. Now basically once you do load into your random GTA 5 online lobby you could basically apply the saved outfit you just made and you should have the galaxy outfit. Now basically make your way over to the nearest clothing store on the map once again. You will need to go over to the accessories. Now on the accessories go over to the gloves. Now on the gloves you will need to buy the racing gloves. Now once you do buy these race suit gloves you will need to basically Go over to online, go over to jobs, and start up the mission called It's a G Thing. And accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterwards. And you should be loading into the job menu once again. Just make sure you put the player outfits on player saved outfits, okay? Then invite at least one person to help you out. And once they do join, just launch your mission. And you should be loading into the actual job mission like this. Now on this part on the owned outfits click 3 to the right. Now both of y'all ready is up and basically once you do load into the mission just steal the street vehicle off the street and make your way over to your apartment building once again. And once you're there go over to the closet area and make sure you delete the galaxy outfits and make sure you save this as an outfit on the next slot which should be number slot number 19 now basically quit the job do the jobs list through your phone and you should be loading into the a random gta 5 online lobby and basically just apply the saved outfit you just made and you should see the galaxy outfit like this now make your way over to the nearest clothing store on the map now go over to the front counter of the clothing store now you will need to go over to the biker suits now on the biker suits you will need to purchase the black 
slash red biker suit. So purchase the red biker suit. This one right here. Now start up the mission called It's a G thing on the owned outfits. Put it on player saved outfits. Now once again, just invite at least one person to help you out. And once they do join, just launch the mission. And once they do launch the mission, you will need to make sure on the second job menu like this, you go over to the owned outfits and click three to the right. Now ready is up. Then after you do ready up, you should be loading into the job mission. Now just make your way over to your apartment building and make sure you save this as an outfit. Save this as an outfit on slot 18 and delete the red other outfits. Now basically you will need to pull up your phone, cut the job, do the jobs list through your phone and you should be loading into your random GTA 5 online lobby like this. And apply the saved outfit you just made and you should see the new red outfit. Now make your way over to the nearest clothing store on the map. Go over to the front counter. Go over to the front counter, go over to the biker suits, and buy the blue biker suit. Now, start up the mission called ACG thing afterwards, and make sure you put the clothing on player saved outfits and invite at least one person to help you out, and basically launch the mission. And once again, go over to the job menu. Now, on the job menu, now on the owned outfits, make sure you click two to the right, ready up, and after you do load in, load into the mission and just make your way over to the apartment building. Now once you're at the closet area, you will need to delete the blue outfits that you made at the beginning of the video. And make sure you save the current outfit you're wearing on slot number 17 and basically Quit the job, do the jobs list through your phone, and you should have the blue suit outfit. And once you do quit out, you should see you have the blue modded outfit. Now afterwards, just make your way back over to the closest clothing store on the map. Go over to the Gorka suits. And on the Gorka suits, you will need to purchase the white camel Gorka suit. Then open up your pause menu and start up the mission called It's a G thing afterwards. Make sure you put the clothing on player saved outfits. Invite at least one person to help you out. And once they do join, launch the mission. And you should be loading into a second job menu like this. On the owned outfits, this part's very important. You will need to do now click one to the right and basically once you've done that you should be loading into the job mission. Make your way over to your apartment building and make sure you just save it on the next slot that's available at the bottom. Then delete the other modded outfits that you made at the beginning of the video. Then quit the job to the jobs list through your phone and basically apply the saved outfit you just made once you do load in and you should see you have the cool Gorka jogger outfit now make sure you like this video subscribe if you're new if you want to see more daily gta 5 videos like this turn on the bell notification as well and i also live stream every single day as well catch you on the next gta 5 online video peace